Hey, it's Jason with more insights and strategy. I just got back from HashiConf 25, an event that a lot of people were watching closely because it's the first HashiConf since the acquisition by IBM. So what would HashiConf say? What types of tools would they deliver? That was a pretty good set of new announcements, to be honest. Even though there a lot of them were still in beta or in preview mode, they did have a lot to say. And what was notable was the focus on developers and shifting HashiCorp services to the left earlier in the development cycle to help with security and deployment. A notable one was just turning on MCP for both Vault and Terraform to make it easier for developers to interface with HashiCorp from tools of their choice, whether that's Vibe coding tools like Kiro or Cursor, agents like what you see with GitHub, or even standard IDEs like VS Code. Second was this idea uh, or a beta called Actions. Actions really starts to make HashiCorp tools more event-driven. So if you think about this in terms of integrating HashiCorp with other solutions, namely things like OpenShift or Ansible from Red Hat, you have this idea where you could essentially create a job in one tool, like in HashiCorp, build out your environment, build out your deployment, your day zero environment, so to speak, for an app, and then push an action into Ansible to automate the entire process from end to end for application configuration. Really nice solution involving both, but I actually see further implications to actions beyond just IBM internal tools. I think it can be used with a lot of different tools. I think the demo of Ansible is quite powerful though. And then lastly, long awaited feature called Stacks is fully GA. And Stacks is really helpful because people tend to want certain environments to run in isolation in HashiCorp tools like Terraform. And sometimes you want them to be linked together. A multi-regional deployments is a good example of where a tool like Stacks could come in handy, or even just having a common environment for development, staging, and production, so you don't start to have conflict as the application moves through its life cycle. Great job by the HashiCorp team. It was a great event. I'd like to say that, you know, they are making great progress uh, post-acquisition.